Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am back from Creativation, as many of you know. And if you don't know what Creativation is, it's the annual trade show of the fine arts and crafts communities. And there are two things that happen, mostly at Creativation. There's a showroom floor in which we get to see all the vendors, like Sezik, showing their new products for the year. But also the two days before the showroom floor is education. So we have workshops and seminars. And this is the class that Cindy and I took from Sizzix called Card Making Class. We were given this, which is their cute little uh, fabric tote bag. This will be really cute with ink splotches on it, just saying. And I will show you what was in the bag that we were given to take home. Now, you know, I had to get all this stuff home. So this is after the fact. I've got to re-unpack this stuff. This is their multimedia mat. And it's a silicone mat and it comes with this band. This is for storage purposes. But as you will see from this picture here, we decided to wear these as bracelets and show our power at the event. Okay, so this is the mixed media mat. It is a nice thick one. I need to clean this now thoroughly now that I'm home. It is a really good thickness here. And this is even more thickness. It's got your little place here for your uh, paintbrush. It has these wells, but then it also has these ones that are gradated. And that's so that when you're working on this, you can pull the paint out like that without coming up against a, a rough edge here. So there's different areas. You could put paints anywhere on here you wanted. So this is, again, the mixed media mat. I will leave that there while we're talking about these other things that we got. Okay, I'll show you the tools and then I'll show you what we made. I just showed you my palette knife, but I wanna show you this. This is what we used in class. And this is the new Sizzix multi-tool. So you have a tool here with two open ends. That's a ceiling cap. And we have two different spatulas on the end. So when you put it in here and twist, that is locked in place. And you can see this one versus this one. And this one is made really flexible, so you can also use it for paint splatters. So that's what, you could have a double-ended tool. This is just a cap to put on the end if you don't want to have that open area. Now we also have this, which how cool is that? Your own little mini brayer. Perfect, 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 perfect size. So those are the initial tools that come, um, that they gave us in class, but you're going to be excited about this. They also gave us one of these. And this is, this is the blending tool that also works on this. So you know what a blending tool is. This is the little spongy and you just dip it in your inks and you can blend over that. And it does come with um, those and they gave us these extra ones as well. So we've got all of this and they gave us the blending head and an extra set of those sponges. Okay, they also gave us the foam tape, <clears throat> a Sizzix pen. I love pens. Okay, and for our mixed media, now they are coming out with or have come out with their own paints, which sounds kind of strange for a stamping company. Bear with me. But these are called creamy acrylic paints. Um, what I suggested to them is that they change their packaging. And the reason is when I pull these out, I couldn't figure out why they gave me three bottles of turquoise. Well, it turns out turquoise is part of the label. When I look at these, the first thing I see is that turquoise stripe. I think that that's the color of the paint. I think the label needs to be shorter. You need to see the paint easily from all aspects of this, not spin it around, spin it around, and try and figure out what color of paint this was. So they need to lower it down and get that color swatch out of the tube. It should be very uh, muted down here and let the color of the paint really be portrayed. I love these little stubby lids. They are just too cute. And we also used Distress inks in antique linen, pumice stone, and crushed olive. I didn't end up using that one. 
and also a gel pen from our white gel pen from Arteza. I want to tell you, we were really amazed. We think that that gel pen is probably the best gel pen we've ever used. Back to this now. Now that you can see it all here, they have other heads for this. You know my favorite jewel picker tool. They have a jewel picking tip. They have a craft blade tip. They have a uh, they, they also the kind of craft blade that you push. And, um, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, they also have a distress, paper distresser. You run around the edge of your paper and it kind of has a razor in it and tears it. And I told them the only thing that they were missing is the pokey tool. So if they would put a paper piercer on there, that would just kind of complete the set, in my opinion. Okay, so now what we made. This was the first card making kit. So they would give you the instructions and you had a color photo and they would give you practice cards about blending. So this is the, the paint. It is so thick. Uh, it dries really well and chunky. So if you want the dimension, we play with techniques. And if you want the dimension, it's very easy to obtain. So this is the first card. And they gave us the die cuts pre-cut. So that is paint. We put the die cuts on there and these little gemstones. This paper has been distressed. Um, with that distress tool and then inked as well. So very pretty. And it was also good just to play because I think many people are so intimidated by paint, you know, especially on card making. They get, and I see that they did some paint splatters there that I didn't do. Might have to go back in after the fact. And now this one, this is using a Tim Holtz, um, a Tim Holtz die set. And my goodness, I have to tell you, I'm glad that they did all that pre-cutting for us. And this uh, die in the middle that kind of has a postage stamp look, that's a new Eileen Hull one. I'm sorry my voice is a little off. I know I'm not, I, I caught a bit of a flu on my way back home. I'm not quite back to snuff. So these were also with the paints, and we just watered them down and used them more like a wash in here and then glued all the pieces in here. Very, very fun. And we use the white gel pen to bring out highlights on the teacups. And the last one we worked on was this one here. And this was like a two and a half hour class because we were playing with a lot of techniques. The flowers were pre-cut. We distressed the edges of the paper here, again with that torn paper distressor. We used the gel pen, we used the white paint and the flexible spatula here to flick the white paint. We watered it down a little bit and flicked that over there. And we used the foam to pop that up. So really cute size of a card. So those were the, the cards that we did in class. It was well worth it. I mean, we walked into that class and could not believe all of the stuff that was set aside for us. Now, of course, I put these in the plastic bags and we can't see them very well. We were really impressed with everything we got in this class. Uh, the instruction was great. The cards were beautiful. Really happy about all the work. They just put so much work into this. Love the new media mat. Cindy, she does a lot of mixed media too. She was really thrilled with that. I am tickled pink about this tool. I have ordered some more uh, ink blending heads and I have ordered uh, some of the other heads. And also there is a like a, th a trifold uh, storage case that you can get for these. And I'll give you a link to that down below uh, in case you are interested in any of the items there. So I just think that this is a really cool tool. And just think about when you're traveling, how it is to have one handle. You could even get two handles and you still have four ends that you could play with. Or if you're doing a lot of distressing, you could get these for each end of all of your tools. Totally up to you, sky is the limit. I actually do like the paint. I think this is a really nice, thick, uh, very creamy, like they say. It's almost like a mousse. It's like a cross between a mousse and a paint. Just take care of that turquoise stripe and bring the label down. I'd be really happy with the packaging. The lid is just so chunky, cute, and adorable. Love it all, and thank you, Sizzix, for a job well done.